has weeks to live, got to see his daughter graduate from college. The university brought a special ceremony right to him in the hospital. The newest member of our CBS 11 team, Marianne Martinez, speaks to the family about what that gesture means for them. This is the moment Brad Gildenblatt thought he'd have to miss. His only child accepting her degree in sociology from OSU on Saturday. Brad has ALS. Over three years, the disease has made him immobile, eating away at his muscles. We ran and walked a lot together, and he wasn't keeping up. Brad can't talk. He communicates with the help of a special computer or by making letters with his finger. I L O. V love. E I love Y O you. you. I love you too. Brad has been in the hospital since right before Easter when he got sick with pneumonia. That's when the family decided he was too sick to attend the ceremony at OSU. The flower mound dad thought he'd have to settle for watching it on a live stream, but that's when a dean from OSU stepped in. The dean actually started crying on the phone to me. The dean drove down to Dallas and held a mini graduation, one of the last milestones this father will get to celebrate with his daughter. His wife says he only has about a month left. That was amazing for him. He just, I mean, he cried. Caitlin is coming back to Dallas to take care of her father. She says she thinks about the big days in her life he won't get to be there for. Oh, every day. But we just take it day by day, and I know he'll always be with me. You don't want to cry. I know. Yeah. Marianne Martinez, CBS 11 News.